basically have the mic in your mouth. Deep throat the mic. Not deep throat, but you know, rub your lips against a little bit. <laughs> Warm it up. Oh, yeah. Welcome, everybody, to episode 30, the dirty episode, dirty 30 episode of What the Fact Podcast. Dirty 30. Dirty 30. Dirty. Oh, dirty. dirty. Too filthy for myself. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. Um, this is Patricia. Stephanie. Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sorry, that was my friend Lil Wayne. This is Ashley. <laughs> Lil Wayne stopped by to be part of the Dirty 30. Okay! <laughs> Get out of here, Lil Wayne. We got some recording to do. I just, I just want to state that when you did that, my mouth opened to the point where it actually, like, clicked. And, like, it just joined in itself and then clicked back in. <laughs> so, so, anyway. Wow. This is episode 30. We, we claimed last week this is our Dirty 30 episode. And so, a lot of the questions we have this week and a lot of the topics will be... Not safe for work. And sorry, Mel K. Sorry, Mel K. Um, <laughs> Not sorry at all. <laughs> but just remember, uh, actually, if you listen to any other episode, most of them are not safe for work. So. <laughs> I believe a Dragon Dildo's episode was clearly safe for work. You know, I had somebody message me on Discord, which is like a gaming Slack, basically. And the only thing they said to me was, Dragon Dildo? <laughs> Amazing no, friends like, for life. Seriously, that's incredible. I was like, oh crap! Wait, was <laughs> Everyone's this, finding out. Was this the first time someone had spoken to you before, or did you know them? Oh no, I know this person. Okay, okay. but the only thing they said to me was dragon dildo. All right, hello. <laughs> Love it. Love yeah, it. it was pretty great. Perfect beginning of a conversation. It sure was. So well, how? I was gonna say when yeah. I walk down the street with Stephanie, sometimes people throw crotchless panties at her to add to her collection. And I mean, what? our true. fame is is just growing. It really is growing. <laughs> I don't know if that's due to our fame, but <laughs> they sure. just look at me and they just throw panties at me. <laughs> is that a, your superpower? That I'm somehow my own like lead singer of a rock band where you like throw panties <laughs> at me right. from on stage, just looking at me. Yeah. Potentially. All and right. you know what? I will accept that. You'll accept panties? I will accept people throwing panties at me. But only if they're your size and they're brand new. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say new, used. Are you If they're used, I'd still be like, thanks, and then just kind of like leave it and just kind of walk away from it. Like, yeah. as a sign of affection, but not a sign of uh, me wanting to use them. Cool story. <laughs> cool story. <laughs> so what have you guys been up to this week? I mean... <laughs> What have you Same been up? Old. Like, yeah, work, trying to minorly relax, going out for my brother-in-law's birthday Ooh. dinner, uh, Zachary's Pizza. I will highly recommend that if you haven't been. It's like deep dish and delicious. How and do you feel incredible. about deep dish? I love deep Versus dish. Versus New York. I prefer um, deep dish. So Just if, deep. It's, if it's like an experience, yeah. Oh, yeah. Insert deep sound. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Wow. Thanks, um, thanks for making that, summoning that sound. I know. That, that's now in your ether of something you have to do. Yeah. Um, if it's like a full experience and like I'm actually out and having this meal, I prefer deep dish. But if it's just like I just want pizza, it's usually hand crust, whatever it is. It's not a full like thin crust. I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's delicious. Nonetheless, I need to try good deep dish because I've I've only tried it once and it was a bad experience. What, what grand? Uh, Pachi's? Pachi's? I like mm. Pachi's. Really? Maybe yeah. it was just that one time. It wasn't for me. It sure. wasn't. I wasn't feeling it. So I don't like it. And I know if somebody's out there from Chicago, I don't like Chicago deep dish. Ooh. Because I've had like the original. Like it looks. They bring it out like in a bowl and they flip it over on your plate and that's your pizza. Wait, 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 wait. So they flip the so. The, there's like a pie crust facing you then. Yeah, so it's like, like that's not what I've experienced. Bowl, like, the size of like your uh, if your hand outstretched, like it's about like a bowl like that size, right? And they bring it out and they and this is like in the Lincoln Park area of Chicago. I can't remember the name of the restaurant, but they bring it out, they dump it over on your plate, and that's your pizza. So it's got the crust on top. So it's a it's a bottomless calzone. Basically, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, I understand that, but I, I highly recommend Zachary's and Zachary does Zachary's does that really cool thing where it's um a lot of 
restaurants in the Bay Area is co-owned by everybody who works there. Mm. And so that's just a cool thing that's just cool. to add to that. But like it was also delicious. Oh, pizza. I love pizza. Get in so my mouth. Good. What's your favorite type of pizza? Pepperoni. I'm a basic bitch. I actually also would agree with that. Pepperoni. Oh. Uh, What's yours? I love vegetarian pizza. I'm not a vegetarian, but I do love some broccoli on my pizza. Oh, interesting. Okay. But if I'm going to New York and getting New York pizza, different story. What do you get in New York? It's just plain, plain cheese pizza. If the sauce is really good, mm-hmm. you don't need anything else. True. So what, what, com- what, for me, the most important part of pizza is the sauce. Mm-hmm. And I love Great. a lot of sauce of mine. Mm. What about you guys? I don't like a ton of sauce. Yeah? I like... You like the, it dry? I basically cheese and, and you want bread. You to chafe I've your had, mouth? <laughs> pretty much. I've had <laughs> pizza where you just replace the entire like marinara base with like Alfredo, and I dig that too. Yeah? Oh. I know. I know a lot of people disagree with that, but like again, if I'm going for just like, I just want pizza, yeah. like I'm going for a normal like marinara base with pepperoni, and it's fine. If I'm going like deep dish style i'll go like mushroom and spinach and like up the ante a little bit but if i'm feeling extra special maybe i'll do an alfredo if Mm. i can't hold the piece of pizza above my head and the cheese slides into my mouth because there's so much marinara sauce on there it's not the pizza for me that sounds like a very specific test that's scientific (laughs) i would like to run this test i will i will be an eater yeah i'll eat I, feel I will like you guys also would hate eat. my pizza. What? Because of broccoli? I love I love all the veggies. No, vegetarian pizza is delicious. My pizza. But that again is like if we're gonna order pizza on the weekend. But if I'm going to a spot where the pizza is like renowned, like if I'm in New York and there's a spot that I really like where actually I went there with my man and um we ordered pizza. It was uh, it had sauce. It, well, I was feeling a little nauseous that day, and mm-hmm. but he was like a little nauseous, sh- a little. Never mind. Take that back. <laughs> Remix. <laughs> Remix noise. No. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, um, we had a cheeseless pizza with sauce. Oh, yeah. And it was like a breadstick, basically, or just a pizza without. Ch- cheese okay it was delicious and it's because the sauce was perfected mm. i must I mean, feel like we can go into a very big debate over what defines a pizza because you just said no it's a pizza but without marinara but or no without cheese or without oh, with, sorry think, ap- apologies call, without cheese call but whatever like, the f you want but like pizza. those, those are care. the three okay can but you I, have a dessert pizza it. yes sure i've never had i've that. had a chocolate pizza before was it good it was really good it's not like cheese on top of like a dessert base. It was just like bread Ooh. and chocolate and then like chocolate as a sauce and then something like over it. To, probably. Something so like are that. flatbreads then just the fancy cousin of pizza? They're oh. still pizzas. They're still pizzas. They're just called flatbreads to be pretentious. You do what you the want. The debate begins. No, yeah. let's not debate that. I just think not that now. what we should do is take ingredients that you can find in my kitchen afterwards and make a pizza. I could do that. Do you have flour? No. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> you will have to eat this flourless oh pizza. I would be down. Anyway, this is not a dirty topic, but whatever. We'll get there. We'll get there. So we have some dirty questions. Three yes, of them, to be do. precise. Um, and our first question asker is Stephanie. That's me. So mine isn't inherently dirty, but I think it could get dirty. All right. My question to y'all is, what is your top 10 celebrity list? And this can be inclusive of... People you want to bang, people you want to marry, people you want to date, whatever it is. Mine is super weird. Okay. And, it, and it, it's, yeah. And I can explain as I go, but, like, that is my question to you. I have, a, I have my top ten list, but I have a spin at the end that I want to add. So I want to go first because I want to have you guys think about your spin. Okay. okay. Love it. All right. So I'm going to go from ten to one just because I want my – I just want to think more about number one the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> so – my my number ten is a little bit a little bit older than me, but I think it's sexy as fuck. It's George Clooney. Yeah, I would do him in an instant. Right. And if George, you're listening to this by some odd chance, my phone number. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, my number nine is one that I'm kind of embarrassed about because I think he's an asshole. But and I don't know if I even say his name right. It's Josh Duhamel. Yeah. Oh, Fergie's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fergie's ex-husband? Is that correct? I think ex-husband. Yeah, and I, I think can't help is. thinking he's just sexy as fuck. I can't help it. I don't want to think he's sexy because I know he's done some shitty things. All right. Number eight is a throwback. 
to the television show Smallville. Oh. Do you remember that show? Yeah. Sure do. Tom Welling, who played Superman on there. Yes. Oh, my God. Great. I've, yeah. Yeah. I've, I love it. I feel like there's a trend happening with you, but let's what's, keep going. What's the trend so far? No, keep going. Okay. Keep going. Let's see. Number seven is a singer, a lead singer for a band that is annoying, but sexy in my mind. Is Adam Levine? Adam Levine? Yeah, Adam Levine from Marine I agree Five. with that one. His He's not on my me. list. He used to be, but I agree. I just, oh man, what oh is, yeah. There's, oh, I just, I just want to. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, what yeah. about him? Do you find attract? Is it? Do you find attractive? Is it the personality? Is it the talent? Like, what is it? I don't think like if I just saw a picture of him one day and, and compared to like a lot of other health celebrities, would I pick him out? But I think there's there's I can't remember which music video it is. Um, but there's a certain music video I've seen with him that just did it for me. And from here on out, I'm an Adam Levine fan. Uh-huh. Wow. That's usually what we'll do. It is a yeah. very small tidbit of celebrity status. And like, that's all you can there think something. about and remember and include in and your was like, Damn boy. fantasies. <laughs> well, Adam. Wow. <laughs> okay. But the list all gets right. better. But there's a couple in here you guys might kind of cringe at. All right. Number six for me is Chris Pine. I mean, he's cute. No, love it. He's cute. I love it. Yeah. He's cute. And I think it was Star Trek Chris Pine. Star Trek, right? He was in. That got me over I mean, the hill for him. I, I, I was a big fan of him in Star Trek, but I think him in um Wonder, in Wonder Woman, Woman really yes. oh was. Wonder God, yes. Woman, he is so fine. <laughs> he is. You know why? Because he has that like rugged, like, I'm a good guy yeah. look, you know. But also very like women empowerment side to him in that movie. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd I say just so. love Chris Pine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I yes. agree. Agreed. Give me some of that. All right, now to my top five. Ooh. Yes, let's do number it. five is one I think you probably would have expected to be on my list. Yep, John Hamm and Gray sweatpants. Obviously, he's, he's, he's not even five. He's not even number one. Or he's not, but him wow. and Gray sweatpants. I guess if they were all in Gray sweatpants, that might make a difference. <laughs> like, wait, right. but he's number five. I thought he was going to be your number one. That's something that we need to think about from here on out. <laughs> She's been cheating on John this entire time with like, four other guys. Yeah. So really her like incognito <laughs> browser has more than just John Hamm. <laughs> wow. All right. My let's hear it. It's kind of embarrassing though. No, it's not. Let's it's hear not it. embarrassing. Say it. JTT. No, that's not no! embarrassing. No! No! No, 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 no. We've talked about this. I love him. We've talked about no, this in so I many different him. episodes. No way. No, we've talked about this. He will forever be in our yes. mind as somebody we love. So JTT, so when you're saying you like them, are you liking them from your past when you're younger or are you like them current day as they are? I would still take Jonathan Taylor Thomas in my bed right now, even with you guys here. <laughs> Wouldn't kick him out of bed well, for We can talk crackers. about that later. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, my top three now. Number three for me is Zac Efron. Okay. And what got me here, not for like the whole like high school musical days, not at all, <laughs> but there's a photo of him riding a horse. Okay. <laughs> there's, a, there's a picture of Putin riding a horse. Also, every romance novel like <laughs> cover is some like Fabio, Fabio looking person riding a horse. No, but. but- Yep. Look, if you really guys want to see this, Google Zac Efron horse. It may change your mind, too. I don't know what it okay. was. It's okay. like, it was my first vision of him as like adult Zac Efron, and I was like drooling. Okay. Okay. Number two for me, the last two are actually three of my top four. I'll start, I'll start with J. Actually, four of my top five start with J. Ooh, so now my number two is Joseph Gordon Levy. He's pretty cute. I would he's agree with that cute. one. Yeah. yeah, he's fantastic. I just mm, love him to pieces. And my number one, I think I've said before, is James Marsden. Yep, you have James said Martin. this and also still in yeah. agreement. All right. He's fantastic. That's my top ten, but now here's my twist. Okay. If you had to, if you could have somebody of the same gender, a celebrity, who would you choose? Oh, I already know. I have only I already know. last. All right, my... Same gender, if I were to ever go that route, would be Sarah Paulson. Oh. Interesting. I don't think I, if I, I don't think I would, I'm not as turned on to her as I am to these men, but I'd be like, she would be my one if I ever went that way. Okay. Should I, should I do my list and then I yeah. do that like answer? Okay. Yeah. Because I already have that answer ready. Okay. All right. Should I, should I go next? That's my, my top list? ten. Mm-hmm. Yep. Love it. Okay. If any of y'all are listening, let me know. So <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna lie, I've always had a top five. They've come like they've some oh, have they've come, come and gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Insert uh, mine all coming. Sexy sounds. 
Yeah. Yes. Um, and then I have alternates, and so alternates okay. equate my top ten. Okay, perfect. So I'll go from perfect. ten to one like you okay. did. Okay. So, number ten. Yeah. Ashley, you might be surprised by this. Jake Johnson. Oh, he's cute. He Not has... Jack Johnson, but Jake Johnson. But the one from New Girl? The from New Girl. Yeah. You love Crumungeon, I, I, I thought you would give me more shit about him being so, like, towards ten versus I, I one. I am surprised by that. But, he... yeah. A him and New Girl is what did it for me. Yeah. He is a curmudgeon. I, I, I feel his vibe on that show on a spiritual level. <laughs> and also, I would like to sleep with him. Yeah, me too. Do you think I'd be a lazy lover? He well, was? I am, so I hope not. <laughs> you <That's good. laughs> you're just both lay there. <laughs> Two lazy lovers equals just sleeping. Yes. <laughs> just, just, just TV and reading Two all day. Two lazy no lovers <laughs> equals <laughs> Pizza Hut. <laughs> just, I'm done with that. It really That's does. What I'm yeah, it really does. Wrong. Um, okay, so I, I will say I, I should, probably should have prefaced this before I begin the list. Some of my like responses might be very weird, and like it's feel okay. free to question me as they come. It's you. you Pun intended. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. So next question you is, like, is no, not, that took a while. again, so, so nine okay. is, um, Jason Manzoukas. Wow. He's so low. He is. He is lower on Who the list. Who the hell is in the top five? Uh, you'll find out. Funny. You'll find out. <laughs> Maybe you will we'll find out. Tune in next time. Uh, everybody <laughs> knows I've, I've, I've been very infatuated with Jason Manzoukas from, yeah. um, how did this get made to just him in being in ridiculous movies. And I've just always... Loved him and would love to be a part of his life. <laughs> and part so of his next bedroom um, activities. Yeah, seriously. So next is uh something from my childhood, but it has remained into my future days. Uh Seth Green. Uh, yes, you oh, talked about this before. Mean, yeah. Always. Not to be confused with Tom Green. Not Tom <laughs> Green. <laughs> what happened to Tom Green? I feel like it went downhill after Drew Barrymore. Am pretty I much, right? Pretty much. Yeah. But yeah, so Seth Green, um, I've met him. He's incredible. His wife is like a five foot ten, like supermodel looking he's woman. He's short too, right? Yeah, he's like five foot four. I, I met him and I have a photo with him and I use on all oh, my yeah. dating profiles um, <laughs> where I like tried to crouch. He's like, don't crouch. What are you doing? And I'm like, I just don't want, I'm nervous. I just and he's imagine like, it in the voice of Chris Griffin. <laughs> I know, a little bit. I mean, yeah. Well, no, yes, exactly. Exactly. He's, he's also just that cool, that sweet, that incredible. Mm-hmm. And he will forever be on the list. Oh, I like So him. then we move to uh, David Duchovny. Oh, Did yes. Do- oh, oh yes. my God. Oh, yes. I used to have a thing for him, oh, too. Oh, yes. I so agree with that one. I had it for a bit from X Files, wow. but then it actually intensified in Californication because I it's have about this, sex. <laughs> I have, I do have a thing where a lot of people who read the list is because I've seen them in some form of a sex scene and somehow that made them more attractive to me. Oh. All right. You're like, oh, this person has sex. I like them. <laughs> Not because they do, just because in the way, like, I don't know. Yeah, I get it, you. Whatever it is. Okay, and then we go to uh, number six, which is Seth Meyers. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I've okay. loved him from Saturday Night Live and into his current stint. Um, mm-hmm. Also, like oddly Jewy, but he isn't <laughs> Jewy. A lot of them is pretty Jewy, but yeah. So, so he's he's funny. He's got a good face. Most of my my guys are like, you've got a great face, and that's yeah. what I hone in on. Face is a lot for me too. Face is more than body. I'm a face more person. than. I mean, come yeah. on. Some of some of these men are are shorter or whatever, but yeah. like, yeah, it's all about the face yep. for me. Um. Okay. So now we will get to top five. All right. Ready bring for it top on. five? Number five is Nick Kroll. Of course. Not surprising for me. Surprising no. for most people who have a top five list. I find him so funny, so endearing, so just incredible in every which way. That I want to be a part of that. I like him more than Jason Manzoukas. So they kind of remind me of each other. They are very similar. Yeah, They've like done a lot better. of yeah. similar things. Yes. But yes, I, I love him so much. And like Big Mouth just made him just yeah. escalate for me. I, I'm in love with him. I didn't him. really care for him much before Big Mouth. But Big Mouth, like I could see his personality shine through. And I like that. Um, the, the four is, is not along those lines. I think the four, my number one, I think will sh- like shock some people. But the rest, I think, are pretty in line. Um. Number four is Paul Rudd. Oh my god, I love him. Okay, he almost made I'm my surprised. list. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. You're surprised by Paul Rudd. I am because he's, he's a clean little. Cut? He's very clean cut. He doesn't seem 
like weird or quirky oh, enough. Oh, he's weird. Not at the same level as Jason Mendoza. Correct. He's not at the okay. same level as Nick Crawl. Like Nick Crawl will have sex with you and then like throw Jello at your face, and you might be into that. Paul Rudd would never do that to you. But Paul Rudd would be the, like. I would I would marry Paul Rudd. Paul, oh, Paul, yes. Paul Rudd has Everyone been married. Everyone would marry exactly. Paul Rudd. But like Even my dad a, would marry Paul Rudd. It's He's a face, not for that. It's a face that never changes. It's a face that like is always good looking. Mm-hmm. I enjoy everything he does. Yeah. So he's just, he's in the actual, like, yeah. I fucking love Paul He didn't need you enjoy me? I do, yeah. Paul, I mean, Paul Rudd <laughs> also seems like a great husband. I don't know. He just seems like yeah. a great part, he life just partner. He's a good dude. Yeah. Like, he... He, he's the type of person who's going to, like, I don't know, help with the house also. Maybe cook dinner occasionally. Absolutely. I like that. He's from Kansas City, so you can't beat oh, that. Yeah, that's oh, true, yeah. That's true. That's true. My neck of the woods. I know. You do love that. Yeah. All right. So moving on to number three. Right. Um, Top ben three. Feldman. Oh, my God. From yes. Superstar. Agreed. Uh, oh, the guy. The, I have, I've only watched a couple also episodes. Also in Mad Men. The, the new employee. Yeah. yeah. And okay. also from uh, Silicon Valley. He yes. 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 Mad Men. He's, like, he's done a lot of things. He's, he's 40% got, eyes. I know. Oh, my God. He's got great eyes. He has great eyes. So good looking. Yeah. Like, just Anthony. Pr- the light Anthony eyes from, and the dark hair. It's a oh, great yeah. combination. Well, Anthony from uh, Queer Eye Show. Mm. He's, he's just all about lips. Mm, His lips yeah. are like, they would make me melt. Really? I would agree yeah. with that. His mouth, his, his mouth, mouth is gorgeous. Game. I haven't, it's gorgeous. I haven't seen that. It's mostly I'm still mesmerized by the eyes. Mm. Ben Feldman has the eyes. So if I could put a face together, Ben Feldman's eyes, Anthony's lips. Ooh, I don't care about the body at that That's point. An interesting <laughs> I did question. Not, yeah. I did not even dive into that, but we can get into That's that. That's great. Yeah. All right. All right so now moving I'm, on, we're at top mm. two. I think you y'all will probably be surprised. Um, my number two is Brian Reynolds. Really? Ew, really? Stephanie, I, I find I him not only you. attractive but funny and very weird. His conversations <laughs> he has with his wife are just hilarious. They're, He's just a weird guy. They're and marriage goals, though. They are marriage goals. He is just weird. I love him. I feel like your list goes from like really fun, maybe short term relationships to like husband. <laughs> I feel Wait like till the I get to number one of here. That. So pray tell, what's number one? Pray number tell. one has been my number one for the majority of my life and has not changed despite his age, because I would take him at any age. John Stewart. Mm. I'm not surprised. I could see that. John he, Stewart has like always been <laughs> my number one. He is smart. He is funny. He's got that great face. And yes, I want every aspect of him. See, I have a hard time liking him still because I grew up very conservative. And he was very liberal in the times where my conservativeness tried to, like, overrule that. I like him, but it's been, like, a forced like for me because I grew up not liking him. And I'm so sad about that. That's okay. I mean, just because you have differentiating opinions doesn't mean that. He's just attractive, though. He's, like, classically attractive. So attractive. Silver Fox. Oh, Fox, like Clooney. Oh my He's like my Clooney. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Your guys will forever list be my number one. It's so different from mine. I'm all over the place. But how would you describe Stephanie's list, though? It would be more how, like, Was that not all over the place? Also, no, I still I need to. So. No, it's not. I don't think There's so. There's a lot oh. that. I also still need to identify my uh, my female. Oh, yeah. Let's hear it. Scarlett Johansson. Really? Oh, Scarlett Jo? Yeah. She's very gorgeous. Do you think she would be like a fun life partner? I think she would, and I base this off a couple of reasons. One, going back to Patricia's original list, uh, Jessica Gordon-Levitt chose her for the that one role as a Don whatever, Don, Don Juan, Juan yeah. uh, because she exuded sex, and I see that. Also, I love her voice. Hmm. I'm obsessed with her voice. And now that she's like engaged slash maybe married, I don't know yet, to Colin Joe's, to, to to yeah. it makes her more like, okay, somebody – attractive funny political also finds this woman so endearing makes her more endearing to me Mm -hmm. all right Mm -hmm. so scar joe is my my choice otherwise it would have probably been blake lively just so i can insert myself in that (laughs) throuple all right oh man all right i'm ready for yours ashley so i couldn't even the girls last week were like you need to think about your top 10 and i I like lifted every rock to figure out top ten, and I could only come up with a top six. She kept seeing her, <laughs> she kept seeing her husband in the, in only her mind. Sixty percent of the way there, <laughs> I failed. That's a D. Um, you know, so it was really really it's hard. The D. 
It's a, it's a hard D. Oh, I like a hard D. Um, and so I, I, a lot of this, it goes from really fun dates to hi. Interpret what, what that as hi. What mean? I think you know what hey means. No, tell me more. You want to fuck their brains out. <laughs> oh! What's well, nothing wrong with that. You do you. <laughs> so I'm going to start bottom top. As I always okay. do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to talk about... <laughs> oh, I heard that an image in my head. <laughs> I like that image. I'm digging that. Oh, my goodness. You just said fucking someone's brains out, and you're embarrassed from top, from bottom to top? The phrase fucking someone's brains out doesn't make me conjure an image of you and Feely. It like, doesn't? <laughs> I wasn't even the... <laughs> I was thinking about the phrase. Okay. Also, that does conjure all the images for me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so top six. All right. Top six. <laughs> top six is going to be the new top ten. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. So my sixth person who mm-hmm. I think would be a really fun date is Mark Merlin. Yes. Who the heck is yes. that? Yes. So he's in Kingsman. He's this, like, ball. he plays the bald guy with glasses. Oh, who's, yes. Okay. I feel like he would be an amazing date. Yes. He's, like, feels like a gentleman. Mm-hmm. I feel like I could learn from him. Yeah. Maybe it's because he plays that role, so I, like, place that personality on him. <laughs> Love Seems it. like a great dude. Love it. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Um, the fifth person is Zachary Levy. Yes. Yes. From Chuck. Yes. You don't think so? That's great. I'm glad you <laughs> like him. I, yes. Yes. I've never seen such a yes. judgmental face from Patricia. No. Thank you was, for having my back. That was Seth. not judgmental. <laughs> that what? was a surprise. Why was it a surprise? I just don't. I'm surprised. Wow. He's <laughs> fine. Agreed. Although I heard he has become like super religious. So I'm oh. talking about more of his personality in the show, Chuck, rather than maybe his personal life. Fair. All right. Number four is more recent. Pete Davidson. Interesting. I'm loving those tags. I, I love kind of him. want to Do him? unpack that a little bit. Really? No, I love him too. I love Pete I Davidson. I think he's it's really SNL funny. Davidson, yeah, right? yeah. I'm in agreement. I think everything he is in on SNL is much funnier than without him. Um, I like that he throws shade here and there. I think he's a genuinely great human, and I think he's been misconstrued. A lot. I agree. I pe- I think people person- personify him as this like weed head who has tats who likes to throw sh- shade at other people. But I actually think he's a really nice guy. And also very smart. Yeah, super smart. And he's like really nice to his mom. He like lives with her. <laughs> and he he's just, what, what is up? <laughs> I was just thinking, well, I mean, his backstory is like not yeah. the greatest. Not and I, guys we don't want to go into that because that's I don't upsetting. know about it. Oh, his his dad. Like, oh yeah, his yeah. dad was in nine eleven, yes. right? And died. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he just he just seems like a guy who's like been through shit and has still come out yeah. like a good human. And he knows yeah. how to use comedy against that, which yes. I yeah. fully appreciate. I do not disagree with you. I also think he's pretty pretty cute. I think it's the confidence of the tattoos and everything. Yeah. I'm I'm feeling it. I, I love w- tattoos. I like him. Yeah. yeah. Um, He'll get a tattoo of you too, or for you, like the heart behind his ear. Now, <laughs> it might become something else later, but yes, true, true. It'll become a penis later. Oh boy! Oh wow! But yeah, not di- not in disagreement with that one. That was a good one. All right, my third person. Yep, top three. Top three. My third person is Jason Mamoa. Oh, oh yes, from yes. Aquaman. I've met him. Oh, he's sexy you in real life. Met him. He He's will not, like, been in his arms, met him, saw him across the room, I guess, close enough, right? I always found him very attractive, but actually his Super Bowl commercial threw me over the edge. I you didn't like the skinny that. version of him? It. It, well, no, it was him making fun of him, his, like, buff self, and yeah. it was just like, when I'm at home, I can feel more comfortable, and he, like, takes off his muscles and <laughs> removes his hair to a bald spot. <laughs> he can completely mock himself, and I love love that one thing i think is so funny is that a lot of guys on the internet don't get the whole jason momoa thing why i don't know they're like he's hilarious they're threatened they're They're threatened threatened. They're like he's like his hair is such a mess he's gonna take care i'm like oh my god he's so sexy (laughs) i don't like actually i don't really normally like super buff guys but it's because he seems so silly yeah that that's what's attractive and he's like a great husband and like yeah he's got the whole the whole whole package i think it's definitely the goofiness factor that would be like you would be an amazing person to date like you'd always have a good time yes agreed Um, agreed 
So the second one, you're going to disagree with Patricia. Okay, I don't know how ready. about you, Steph. I'll Hold close on. my eyes so I can't judge you with my eyes. Justin Long. I love Justin Long. You know I love Justin Long. Face. I'm closing my eyes so I don't give you a judgmental face. Just because you rest- close your eyes doesn't mean I can't see a the judgmental face. The rest of your face still moves. <laughs> Like what? She's like, if I, if I can't see you, you can't see me. That's Justin, not true. Okay, Justin Long is a complete weirdo. But oh, he's cute. Super and weird. He's a I cute smile. love him. He's also nice to his grandma. I like follow him on Instagram, and he seems so nice and super weird. You know, with the his celebrities brother. I hate are the ones who are so mean to their grandmas. <laughs> yeah, they like kick their grandmas in the face. Yeah, I hate those celebrities. Yeah, Grandma, <laughs> foot to the face. Foot to the face. I instantly regretted that. Yeah. Oh, sorry <laughs> to the grandmas out no. there. Oh. I am uh, I'm in agreement. He's he's fantastic. He did, he did not make my list as as we've discussed, but I understand yeah. why he is on yours. Yeah. Okay, you're ready for number one. I'm sorry. Please, 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 I've been waiting. So for context, I've been watching the show Good Girls with Felix, and every time I watch it, this actor comes on and I'm like, ooh, he's <laughs> his <laughs> it is Manny Montana. Yeah, he's like the up. gangster in that show. Yeah, I looked him up when you told me this before. He is very, very attractive, he is but extremely it's, attractive. It's like his character is so suave and confident, and it's like, take me away, please, <laughs> from this husband I've got. Felix <laughs> put his hand in front of my eyes during like a sex scene, and I was like, I don't even need to see it. <laughs> I already <laughs> have in my mind. Or slapped his hand away, like. Okay. I'm like, stop it, Manny. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. He is fine, though. In that show, he, he plays this like, gangster, confident guy who actually has a family. I'm just like, oh my goodness. Yes, please. Dig it. Yeah. And he wouldn't slap his I, grandma. I dig it. <laughs> and he kicked his grandma in the face, foot to the face. Oh, poor grandma. Poor granny. All right, so do you, have you thought about a uh, same sex? Oh. So I'm so conflicted about this because it's about, I think about who's going to be a really fun date. Yeah. So I recently, I'm being, this is informed mostly by fun to date because I watched her comedy special recently. Okay. Fortune Feimster? Oh, yes. I don't know who I that love. Is. Oh, my it's God. Fortune you would Fe- lo- Feimster, Feimster, I believe. Feimster? Okay. I love Fortune. She's, yes. You would really like her. She, oh. um, her background is that she came from a very conservative background. Oh, me too. And I think you would appreciate sh- her stand up. I think you really would. What's it on? So it's on Netflix. Okay. And um, she basically talks about, she came out, um, she, she came out like, being a lesbian a, a while ago um, a while ago but she talks about the process of that huh. um and but she also talks about a lot of her conservative upbringing and like what she believed and just she's just freaking hilarious right, she has it. uh she had a big staple in chelsea lately mm. she's done okay. a lot of things she's fantastic yes i'll check yeah. it out yeah a hundred percent agree yeah. with you but I'm not like I'm not like oh she's like so sexy I would want to date her I just think going on a date would be fun would just be so out. fun yeah can I tangent for just a moment and yeah. feel free to cut this if you want um okay so I uh get asked this often and I don't know if it's just my the my demeanor my broad shoulders whatever it is <laughs> but I get asked often about have have I considered women and I've been like fairly open i'm i'm straight but i guess if you call it a kinsey scale i'd be a a two not a zero yeah um because even my tattoo artist recently was asking me about this Hmm. because she was like oh you know tell me about like the men you date and whatever it is and i'm like yeah no normally my type is taller and extremely attractive but i tend to date men that are shorter than me and like have a very specific face whatever it is she's like would you consider a woman i'm like the only woman I've ever really considered is like an outside friend named Jill, who's a very, very butch lesbian, and Rachel Maddow. And she's like, okay, so you would. And I was like, oh, I mean, I'm not saying that I wouldn't, but like, yeah. it, I find it interesting that anytime that this conversation has come up more often in my life than I thought it would. Do you think it's because you're in your 30s and not married? 
it might be. And like, I've, I've always like, I've said to my parents, I know I'm like, no, I like, I'm attracted to men, but Mm -hmm. like at some point if I'm like with a woman, like, I guess that's what happened. Is there a consistency of the people who are asking you this? Like similar. They're usually butch women. And they're all asking, maybe they want you. Yeah. Maybe they want (laughs) you. Potentially. Because if there's consistency in that, you know what I mean? Like, I I think you have to like find what's the pattern of who's asking you this. The pattern is the women who have asked me this, this question have seen the most vulnerable sides of me if that helps interesting so you're just hmm because like so like with the tattoo i've made that very clear like this is covering up marks from when i was very sick and like this is me reclaiming my body when i've talked about it with just other butch women it's usually like been along the same lines and it's just like the more vulnerable i become somehow that I don't know, is an attractive thing for women and not for men. Huh. Whatever it is, I just find it very interesting that these questions get is brought up. Stephanie, you just need to stop going up to men and being like, how do you feel about menopause? Vagina, vagina, blood. Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even about like that per se. It's, yeah, it's, it's just like the harder parts of my life. Which I just find very interesting that so many women are like, now I want to be more invested in you than like, a man in any case ever at any time. I don't know if it's about you. I think it's like the people asking you, because if there's consistency in that, then it's, I don't know. I I don't think it's a you thing. Then again, I'm never like, Oh, this person definitely, I'm I'm not like that though. I just find it so interesting that that has been asked of me several times. And, Mm -hmm. and maybe I actually do always immediately go back to, Oh, well I am single in my thirties. And like, that is just like an immediate thought. Hmm. Maybe but, you just make people feel so comfortable that they ask questions like that of you, too. Perhaps. But also my tattoo artist, because of where she's tattooing, I'm like, in underwear. <laughs> <laughs> her, or in her, a beauty suit like, vaginas in her face. Have Perhaps. you ever considered women? <laughs> she's like, have you ever considered it? I could tattoo your vagina. <laughs> that would be so painful. Right. My thigh sucks. I could you, not imagine the. You the know, pain someone of has to have done that. Oh, at some of course point. they have. So here's a quick story about that. When I was in <gasps> what? Yes, <laughs> yes. No, it's not as funny probably as you're hoping. But when Aww. I was in Germany getting my tattoo, my friends and I were looking through the book of like tattoos in the past. You know, his pictures that he's taken of his tattoos, and I was just flipping through the pages, so conservative, so pure minded, and I was like, oh, look at this one. Is that an elbow? No, it was a penis. <laughs> and I, and oh my god! It was like a direct penis with a tattoo on it, but I thought it was an elbow, and that's how naive I was back in the day. <laughs> Sorry, all I could think about was, what would you tattoo on your vagina? And all I could think of was Monsters Inc. characters. <laughs> <laughs> I which one? Which one? Which one? The green one with the eye, and the eye is where your vagina. Is. Oh, I like the red one with the two side eyes. <laughs> I can't remember its name, but that was my favorite one. Or a- the like, kind the one that looked kind of like a pixie stick. Or no, oh was that yeah, 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 yeah. No, not the three stick. heads. No, 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 oh no, no. Oh my god! Like what is this conversation? Of, it was it was black and white, and it, maybe a candy oh, I know. cane. Is That's that the one? All Real Monsters, isn't it? Oh, I mixed everything up. Do you remember that show? That's what, exactly where I went. Was okay. All Real Monsters and uh, not where you were going. Sorry. Monsters Sorry. Inc. Pixar. I that, I was just thinking that would be really hilarious. Can you imagine you go to, you take upon a lover and then you just have this Monsters Inc. vagina tattoo. <laughs> and whatever I'd get, I want to make sure that my pubic hair went along with what? it. What? And you dye your pubic hair like fluorescent fuchsia to match the monster. I dig that. Also, great movie. And I'm so sad that I went to a completely different realm. Okay, you went to a good good area though. I like that. She that TV. she did go to a good area. Was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah, definitely dye your pubic hair to go along with the monsters. Like, oh, it's all fluffy too. Do you think that would be Get more crimped? or less aggressive than just like shaving and just exposing? I just think it'd be wonderful if we really did like have that kind of thing in our lives where we'd all like get our private parts uh, tattooed and, and decorated them and, and enjoyed died. them. Patricia, I support you. You know, I'm, I'm always gonna, supportive. I'm not going to lead this charge. <laughs> or Stephanie, I support you. 
Perhaps. <laughs> I might be the first to do this. <laughs> See, so clearly your tattoo artist has already asked you, potentially are you into women? You go to her the next time you're like, put Monsters Inc. on my vagina. <laughs> Let me finish this first round of madness and then maybe we'll move to that. He was always just great though, is if, if a guy does take off your underwear and he, the, if he said, ah, oh, real monsters. <laughs> Perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> and that is why I'm going to do that. Give perfect. me monsters. All right. Time to move on, I think, to question number two. That's that was a more. great question. That was fun to go and dig into. That Yay. was a great question. Also, please send us your list and we will evaluate and mock them. Yes, mostly we'll mock. Them. I will love them. Mostly mock. I'll mock. Everyone needs a little tough love. Jeez, mom. Real friends only tell you the truth. Oh. Oh. Okay, question two. Question the second. Oh boy. Bring it on. (laughs) You you tapped into this slightly earlier. Oh, but I have no idea what this question is. How would you respond if a couple approached you to be their third? Do you want me to answer this first? If you feel so free to do so. If the spirit comes to you, yes. If it comes to me. (laughs) I, I would have to evaluate the situation. Quite a bit, um, because I've I've never been with a woman. I don't. What if it was two men? The That's parameters are say, open. Yeah. The parameters are open. Okay, I've never been in a in in a uh, threesome before, so there's a lot of things that would have to come with that. <laughs> come <laughs> intended. The the majority of the valuation would honestly be two parts. My attractiveness towards both of them. And will I ever see them again? Yeah, <laughs> Which one index is higher? Not seeing them again? Yes. Okay. Because if I just become a threesome and, and a two men or a man and a woman, and then like I know that was just like the fling and that's what it was, and like I can I have a story for later, but I don't have to deal with them if I didn't want to again. That index is higher for me than somebody of like these are good close friends, somebody that I might see again somebody they might ask for me again in the future and then it's like okay well we need to establish is this like you guys trying to get you know spice up your life with an addition or are you actually looking for a thruple and that there's there's are things that you would need to consider because mm-hmm. I've I've talked about thruples in the past but most thruples I just like like the idea of but being a part of I don't think I could do it why um it, it's a little, it's a little dependent. I do have a, a minor jealousy factor, but I also have a very major laziness factor. So like it could work in both of those ways. Yep. We're like, am I jealous that the other person is, is having, you know, a better time with so-and-so, but because of my laziness, it's just, it's a whole like, like thing I, I would need to figure out. I just envision you being in the thruple and getting really annoyed and jealous of the couple, and you're just eating like a turkey leg from a Renaissance festival, or really carrot. upset, just like on the side. No, <laughs> uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'd figure out how to how to deal with myself in that realm with a carrot. No, or a drumstick. What, what what is up with this carrot situation? No, it's. I'm not gonna stick random foods up me. <laughs> It's not gonna. Have we happen. talked about the tuna story that I've heard. What have what? we talked about this Tell before? Us. What side, side story? So I heard this story in college, and I didn't know this person. I'm sure parts of it are true. However, this girl was dating this guy. She wanted to please him. So what did she do? She put tuna up in herself because Why? he really liked. Tuna salad. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! god. Tuna salad. What? She did that. They enjoyed each other, but apparently, I can't believe I've never said this. She didn't clean herself out (gasps) well enough. (gasps) Weeks later, she's getting abdominal pain, and it's because maggots have started biting into the fuck up her areas and into the bone. No. I don't care what? who you are, but be hygienic. I'm just saying. Food play is very. It's something you need to be very. We went there today, folks. About. We went there. Happy Monday. 
Happy Sick. Dirty 30. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't be too dirty, though. That's too dirty. That's gross. <laughs> that's just, that's an extra level of dirty. How do you not clean yourself properly? I mean, how far did she put the tuna salad? Also, that's the bigger question. <laughs> that is the bigger question. She's because, like, well, like, I've like two scoops of this like, when, you're, exactly, when you're playing with, like, chocolate syrup or with, like, whipped cream, like, you don't shove anything up here. Like, you're not like, here's the prime rib. Go get it with what? a side I of would, mashed potatoes. I would never waste prime rib on my vagina. I guarantee this woman has never had any sort of food play with anybody else before oh and thought God. that it actually needed to go far up there. Of, that's an aggressive play if you've never done food play before. No. At Tuna most, salad. you put something also, on, like, your stomach. Like, yes. you start isn't small. there like, Your finger. Isn't your it chest. said that, like, women smell, like, fishy anyway sometimes? Oh so God. why would you make that worse? I don't know. I mean, I'm... Not- this, Everything is wrong about this. This isn't a quotations like my friend being me. It's like literally someone <laughs> at the college. Sure, sure. I don't know what to I'm going to call you Mega Vagina from now I mean, on. This, mega is what vagina. I, this is what happens when you don't have enough sex education, my friends. <laughs> don't shove shit up your vagina. Just what, don't I, do it. Like, I don't, I just still don't understand. There's so many other things she could have done. Tuna salad? Really? Is that what you're putting your flag into? You're like, I'm tuna salad girl. No, he put his flag into it. Hey! Oh, lame joke. But also, how are you not, like, cleaning that out properly? Because she shoved it into her uterus. That's so gross. I'm going to have a baby. It's going to be quite fishy. (laughs) Yeah, she's like, I birthed the tuna salad. Hello. (laughs) So Gross. gross. People Gross. never don't put anything up your vagina food related. Just don't. Or just if don't. you do, just make sure it's a whole piece of something, not like fragmented. I don't know. I'm going to still I, just say I'm don't. Just saying. I'm just saying just don't. I, I agree gross. with you, but I'm just saying. Just saying. All right. So Anyways. back to the, the, the threesome. The, yeah. The threesome. Patricia, what's your response? I don't. I've never really thought about a threesome ever. So you've never had one? No. That I won't tell you about. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I just, I, I like to be able to focus solely on one person. And I think that's fine. Um, I think if someone came up to me and they were like incredibly attractive and I was just immediately turned on by looking at them and I had a couple alcohol drinks in me. <laughs> <laughs> Your phrasing alone really sets the mood here. <laughs> alcohol drinks. Alcohol beverages in my body. And tuna salad. And some tuna salad <laughs> no. in my vagina. No, I think it would I think it would take quite a quite a bit to get me into that situation. However, there could come a day where we all come together like that. Pun hey. intended. Yeah. I don't right. know. I don't, it's not my preferred method of making whoopee. <laughs> I like that that's where you caution yourself. We've gone back to the newlywed game. Yeah. <laughs> I take a lot of pride in the satisfaction I give to somebody else. That's and true. I think it'd be hard to give that satisfaction to two, two people at one time. Yeah. Well, that sort of brings up the idea. Well, I guess in this case, a threesome, I'm assuming, is not just like it's a one night stand type situation, right? It's not like a long term situation. Well, depends but how I, good it is. I would mostly do, yeah, only if it was one night stand, likely, unless it was a full throuple. Yeah, I'm going to say it similar to you, Steph. I think, uh, and actually to both of you, I, 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 I couldn't do it. I, uh-huh. I like to focus similar to you, Patricia, like on one person. Yeah. And also sort of the jealousy part. But I get, so I've never had a one night stand. So mm-hmm. I just don't know. But you've had a one day stand. <laughs> Never mind, that's weird. Never mind, one morning stand. But you know, so I don't know how I would feel in that situation because the emotional part is very different. It, I would assume it's almost void at that point. So it's just it's, purely carnal. You're just a tiger. Tiger. Yeah. Tiger. You're a tiger. Wait, what? <laughs> you're just a tiger at that point where you're just like yeah. going for it. So yeah. I, I guess I just. But then does jealousy even come into play at that point because you don't care about the people? It does not. I don't know. I'm very conflicted about it, but I know, I don't know. I don't, there's just so much happening. Can you mm-hmm. truly satiate, have yourself satiated and satiate other people with that many people? I'm, I'm going to say the thing that I think like some of us have been weary of saying. If we were ha- to have a threesome or even be in a throuple with an- another woman, how would you feel about going down on another woman? I have mm. zero desire to go 
have my face near a woman's <laughs> vagina. I'm in and agreement. I, I can't. I agree. I can't help it. I've I've thought about it before. You're like, you know, is this something that I could see in my life? No. And I'm I, in agreement. Some people like that. That's fine. That's good for you. Um, but I don't. I don't know if I. Here's my friend one time said this to me because we were talking about. He's a guy. And he's like, you know what? As long as someone's got their mouth around it, I don't really care who it is. But, but, like, but like in the in the heat of the moment, like you'd be surprised the things you're willing to do. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I think I'd probably be more likely to have a woman go down on me than for me to go down on a woman. I I think if the the moment was was correct and I was just going with whatever was happening, I I think I could. I've never really thought about it, but I really didn't think about it a lot with men either until it just happened. Yeah, and like that's just so was... you'd be open to it. I, I wouldn't be close to it. Mm. I don't, I mean, I've never had any desire. I, I haven't never either. either. I haven't um, either, but not to say that if that the opportunity were to come and it made sense that I wouldn't attempt for chance. You I'm know, just, the female body part is so much more complicated than a man. So is that the intimidation part? You're like, I <laughs> I'm weirded out by a like, vagina. How many men are actually successful with the lady parts? Yeah, no, not many. <laughs> Not many. They've tried and they've been mad at me. Yeah, as it depends. Uh, some some are, but I think they're more experienced to get to that point. But I don't know. It just the female vagina does not attract me to want to explore with it. Um, but I think nope. I just I just love a good penis, and I would prefer <laughs> that. Have you ever dated someone who you? who when you were having your period they didn't want to have sex with you um I, no, I, I just don't have sex during my period there you go um i haven't had my period in a very long time because of fair. an IUD. also fair how would you respond if a guy said that to you that he doesn't want to because of your period yeah i'd be like all right let's just not do it during this time fair. i'm okay with that i guess that also yeah. depends on your flow yeah. also there's something and your drive. Like, you don't have mm-hmm. to have true sex like you can just make him i don't know during that time i'm tend more to make him happy and then be okay with it <laughs> that's fair he doesn't need to have this uh you know ketchup stain on the carpet or whatever oh Oy. i've also made it very known that like insertion is not the way to to please me fair okay so i gotta tell another story from college oh i love dirty 30s oh, no. so <laughs> my friend i'm not gonna name him he is- oh we know it's him <laughs> like, we know it- who it is cuts it down by half <laughs> <laughs> um and he is a really sensitive guy. And he told us, I don't actually know. He did tell us. I set it up. I set him up with a friend of mine. She told us. And I was like, oh, too much information <laughs> that I know about my friend. Anyways, he had dated this girl at some point and she was, she was on her period. And for some reason they were, they were on vacation and then she wanted to take a bath, which I'm like, why would you want to take a bath when you're on your period? Also on vacation. I guess he got in with her. Oh, in her did everything got a little in the period red. water. Oh, that's disgusting. I've actually. Oh my god, that reminds me of a story. Oh, I, oh my god. Okay. okay, just saying. I, I don't. I, I don't know if that grosses you out or you give respect. I'm not really I, sure. I can. No I respect. can give an, an equal. I think that's gross, unsanitary. I think it's gross. Grossish story. Um. So so one of my good friends in high school um lost her virginity to another good friend of mine in high school, and they did so in a bathtub i don't know why that was the the way to go about it but either way um if you don't know if your hymen is broken you will definitely know yes in oh, that way oh no we can still see your face even though you're closing your eyes <laughs> patricia <laughs> so that was you know a literal and uh, metaphorical mess so, um, oh wow gross yeah wow. i don't know why that was the that seems like a decision. terrible spot why would someone do that you can also, also not like, do that you could definitely not do that but also like i don't know how many did i mean so i know the the like fully dirty 30 here like do you know when your hymen broke because i'm very much aware no i have no I'm idea i'm not really I'm sure because i played I'm, sports oh i'm so, no i'm maybe super mine never, fucking maybe mine never broke Cause she's a virgin. Oh yeah. No, so I'm, <laughs> yes, I'm super that's aware. It, that's it. 
<laughs> I'm aware because it's a story I love to tell. Um, oh, tell us more about when you yeah, broke your Yeah, so, so one of my, one of my uh, boyfriends in high school who has uh, recently come out, mm-hmm. uh, one of my, my best friends to this day, um, his mom was my gynecologist. And so I'd asked her because, like, everything was just very painful. It was always constantly painful. And so I asked her, like, hey, is there something wrong? Like, what's happening up there? And she was like, you have what technical terms mighty hymen mighty hymen can that be your yeah. nickname please? yes the worst superpower i know which basically means my hymen was under like two inches thick of <gasps> tissue wow and would not break it could not break unless it was surgically broken oh. and so i had a hymenectomy at 19 which I guess I lost my virginity to her. It's like that's the technical terms. And we've cl- we've come full circle. Come full circle. Uh, yeah. So I had a, a hymenectomy. It was uh... <laughs> that took me way too long to figure out. <laughs> okay. No, because you were just saying earlier how many people have asked if you're into ladies, and then oh, a lady broke her hymen. A lady I mean, did every... break my hymen. Yeah. Technically, yeah. Um, she was in, she was incredible. It was a very easy surgery. Was it painful? I was under. Oh, so you didn't feel it after? No, but because it was so quick. So basically that expanded the size. That I I woke up very quickly afterwards and thanked everybody and was like very sweet afterwards. So you can take a longer dick now? Longer? (laughs) You mean thicker? Wider? Yeah, whatever. You can take a bigger one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yeah, but well, I mean, even to this day, like when you go to a gynecologist, it still sucks to have like something put up there and cranked. Because you just just don't want it. Yeah, because you just don't the want duck, it. Yes, Do that's you, horrible. The duck is the worst. Do you think most men understand what a gynecologist appointment no, is? Absolutely not. Probably not. We need it's to do like our genders same, at last. It's oh the same God. amount of men who think that like aren't tampons pleasurable? It's like, are oh. you fucking kidding me? Yeah, because sticking a small roll of toilet paper up my vagina and walking around with it is pleasurable. <laughs> not pleasurable. No worse. In the slightest. But yeah, so that's you guys how I knew. The wrong tampons. Then. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I mean, honestly. Just kidding. <laughs> But like also have an IUD, so I don't know anymore. But like so like that that I like literally knew that moment because it happened during surgery because tampons were too painful. Oh my like everything was too painful. Yeesh. And so I, I had the guys to be like, What's happening? Mother, and they're like, mother. Yeah, so, it was a very interesting conversation to have with my with, with my parents. My mom was immediately like, Oh yeah, that makes sense. Like because I'm a woman, I understand if, like, tampons are painful, that that sucks. Mm. My dad was like, okay. <laughs> that must have been awkward for your dad. To be like, so we're going to surgically break your daughter's hymen. Hymen, hymen. So technically, <laughs> I lost my virginity at 19 if we're going by hymen standards. All right. To my gynecologist. Wow. Yeesh. Wow. I don't know about that. Dirty 30s. Wow, dirty 30. <laughs> There's a lot of unexpected things in this dirty 30s. I know, episode. I love it. I don't know when my hymen broke. I don't. I don't either. I mean, often they say it's like people who played a lot of sports, you'll just like break it randomly. That you won't could know. be. Especially I, if you horseback ride. Well, I played, I played soccer competitively throughout college, so mm-hmm. it could happen in those times. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Those are the best times too, because I hardly ever had my period. The end. <laughs> good okay. story. Good story. Cool. Moving on to question cool. three. All right. Question the third. So I want you guys to think about your answer before you say it out loud. So I want you guys to internalize this because I will act on it. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> the question for you is, how much would you charge to pose nude in front of a figure painting class? I already have responses. Ashley, you ready to? Yes. Okay. Who wants to go first? You go first. I'll go first. Okay, so if this is anonymized and it's just like my my body and like a whatever ish of my face, I probably go fifty k. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> but because it's anonymized, my face. If it was my face and my name, and you can tie it back to me, it'd be closer to five hundred k. Holy cow! Okay, were you thinking a lot less? I was like fifty dollars. <laughs> no, yes. stop oh it! Oh my gosh! I was. How no, many naked God. paintings of you are there out there? One, two. You need a better agent to negotiate for you. They don't pay these people a lot of money, though. I know they don't. Yeah, but that's people who either need the income or just so like 
Oh my body. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I would I would go fifty, and then if you needed my actual face and name, ten times it. Would it? Ch- All right. Would it change for y'all if it was n- nude you now or nude you when you're seventy five? No. Same. Oh, I would like it even more when I'm 75. I'd be like, look Absolutely. at these wrinkles. Have you all ever done figure drawing classes? <laughs> I, no. have. I have. I have. I did I have a not. sculpting class. Yeah? Yeah. It's, uh, I only wanted, it was an older woman. Interesting. She she had her legs not closed. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and That's I saw Monsters, human... Inc. <laughs> it's the human body. Oh, you gotta no respect monsters. it. I think I would love to do this because if it were people I didn't know, I would be, I would love to do this. Plus, I would get a really interesting position for them. But you'd have to hold it. Can you, you think you could hold it for so hours? So I've been a model for figure class, but clothed. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, um, yeah. The, the, your second tier question was uh, what figure? Or like yeah. what? So, how yeah, do you the next question it? for you is like, what would your pose be? I think mine would be just like an obvious, like sitting on a stool, like hand behind my head like the most obvious figure painting things there are power move legs open yeah <laughs> that'd be it <laughs> I'm just kidding i wouldn't Ooh, do that actually i would like to one-up that like not only legs open but like like elbow against one of the legs smoking a cigarette <laughs> <laughs> i'd be like sitting on my butt lean back with my hands back behind me holding me up and my legs like knees up spread open like this Oh shit. oh shit! Don't look under the table. You're not I'm wearing not pants. I need to see what was <laughs> what we are working with here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would draw that yeah. for any price. <laughs> Insert sexy sound. <laughs> we keep using the sound a lot. <laughs> there can be multiple sexy sounds. Yeah. Good luck. Um, no, I I don't think I could. I don't, I don't think I could. You I, wouldn't at all for no. any price. No. I mean, I took it so. I told y'all, when, did I tell y'all when I went to my first figure drawing class? No? No. Or a sculpture class? Is that where you met Felix? <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> hey, legs open, power move. <laughs> what do you think of that ah, real monster? <laughs> 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 but instead, it's the Cookie Monster's face. Oh my god, oh, power play. It power was, play. The, cookie it was the evolution of Cookie Tar. <laughs> cookie Tar's just like tattooed on my vagina and on top of my legs it's tattooed horse legs i feel like that's what i if i were to tattoo i would have to do cookie tar yeah i mean i think that's my brand i accept it i accept it Um, do you put cookies up in there then please don't please don't Uh, nobody needs UTIs for that no no that's the only time when c is not for cookie Nancy Pelosi clap. <laughs> thank you, thank Insert you. Insert clap sound. <laughs> um, no, I don't think I would. But so when Felix got me this class, it was over the holidays years ago, and mm-hmm. he was like, basically, he said in his French accent, like, "Oh, I got you a figure sculpture class. I think you will like it very much." <laughs> and I was like, "Babe, do you know what a figure sculpting class is?" And he's like, oh, the La Figure, like, le, you know, the, like, you know. And I was like, okay, I don't know what you just said, <laughs> but I'm just, you're paying for me to stare at a naked dude. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I did not know. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> so, but anyways, it ended up being a, a lady model. However, they did ask us if we wanted like an elderly man, but I've had friends who've taken figure drawing classes where the man has gotten turned on. Oh, fucking yeah. horrible. That's one good thing that, like, as a woman, you don't have to worry so much about. Correct. In a figure, being the naked person in, 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 as, as the inspiration. Yeah. Unless you consider, like, nipple erectus as, Mine like, are always erect. Oh, boy. I mean, don't look too closely. I'm looking I already looked under the table. That. Yeah. <laughs> when I was in college, I used to have this really difficult time because... My nipples are very sensitive. This is odd to talk about. <laughs> very, very, very sensitive. In a I good feel way. you on a on so many levels, including me just wanting to touch you. Oh, In my a God. good way. Um, yeah, no, I mean good and bad way, but like this like, wasn't a good way though. Um, okay. In that there, whenever I wear sports bras, my they chafe. My nipples are almost always erect in sports bras, and because I played you soccer, just see it. 
I always had that problem, and I'd always wear like white t-shirts to practice in. Oh, they get sweaty, no. and so like if we knew we were walking by the guys back to the locker rooms or whatever, that I had to like cover up a little bit because they were just kind of they poked out all the time. Oh, it know. wasn't until um, high school that I convinced my mom that I needed like a, a full like coverage, not like a full like cupped padding, but yeah. like a something to conceal that because I feel that on a deeper level in, in high school or not in high school, in junior high school, I was noticed a lot because I developed quicker than yeah. most. But when you're in junior high, you don't have those types of bras. And so you have big yeah. boobs and nipples because you're just cold sometimes. Yeah. It means nothing more than that. And so like men would notice an approach and I'd have to go to my mom and be like, we need a different type of bra. Oh. I'm so uncomfortable. Yeah. I always wear padded bras now because of that. Same. I, I do too. Never, not being as well endowed as you ladies. I've never really had these problems. I mean, I've definitely forgotten bras when I've worked out and then gone to work. Or like so if, lucky. Or, what I would give. Or, like, I've definitely forgotten, like, sports bras before I go work out. And I'm not going to lie. I just take Band-Aids and put it on top so I don't nip out. Good to go. Let's do it. I, my, my nipples are just knock those Band-Aids right off. <laughs> <laughs> they just shred them. You're, you have nipple shredders. You hold out <laughs> on your nipples. <laughs> I just almost... It's like the Kool-Aid man comes out of her oh, nipple. Yeah. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> I just feel like I'd say like 80% of the time, I guess when I'm not sleeping, I don't know when I'm sleeping if they are or not, but almost always do I have issues with this. Have they ever chafed because I've never chafed my nipples before. No. Um, I do. I do want a a quick, very quick story. My roommate has had uh, breast augmentation Mm -hmm. and is very upfront about this. So I don't feel bad about talking about this. But because of the breast augmentation, her nipples are always constantly erect. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. So she has to wear that kind of full coverage thing because they're just always, always erect. And it can give the wrong impression (laughs) at times. Speaking of nipples, can I close out this episode with a quick story? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is not. Did you have many? I feel like there was many. Many what? Many possible stories for you to tell us. Oh, no. This is a almost safe for work story. I want to hear all the Yeah, because if you've made it to this point, clearly, <laughs> you want a safer work story. So, I want all the stories. A girl who sits close to me has this little wrist pad thing that sits next to her mouse, but it's like, it's not the traditional, like, memory foam wrist pad. It's more of a jelly kind, and I, I really like it. And so I asked her, you know, can you send me a link on Amazon to where you, from where you bought this? I know she got it on Amazon. And so I went to the Amazon site. It wasn't there. So I was like, well, crap. So I've got to find one that I kind of, it's kind of like it that I can get. So I found one different color, um, similar shape and similar like textures from some pictures I could tell. Oh my the god, it's on, a boob implant, isn't it? Well, the thing on Amazon, you know, that you can post like pictures up there you can see of the product. The third picture down says similar feel to nipple coverings. <laughs> and I was what? like, why would that be on Amazon? Why would you why would you market that that way? Are you sure you weren't using my account? <laughs> no, was but your incognito a, browser ready? No, it's it was a wrist pad for using your mouse. But why would you market it that it's a similar feel to to nipple? I'm not sure, covers. other than like the the squish of what that would feel like, and have that be equated to a similar implant or like a chicken cutlet type of like true thing. But it arrived that it in the just... mail today, so we can check it out after the recording. <laughs> We'll do we'll do all of that. All right, we'll touch it later. <laughs> oh gosh, not together though, because Ashley likes doing it separate. Um, Why do you always want to <laughs> masturbate together? I do not. I Why? Do not. This is the crux of the podcast. We're supposed to be better friends. Why? <laughs> anyway, I'll do whatever you ask of me. Okay, great. For the sake of science, science. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Actually, Patricia's the one who's approaching us to be part of a three-person situation, just oh, including all three That of was us. the whole point of this whole episode. She's like, oh, you're going to have to get a strap on somewhere. Oh, I don't have any sex toys. The only we thing still I... haven't made our way to good vibrations. You know, I might have a can of tuna, though. <laughs> Please, the no. The only thing I have to offer is cookie tar down there. That's it. That's all I got. I'm That's good. all we need. I'm all out. Right. Anyway, um, <laughs> thank you for listening to our Dirty 30 episode. And uh, if you guys have any more questions or want to follow up with anything, feel free to email us at hello at wtfaqpodcast.com. We will be back next week with episode 31, which is probably like midlife crisis kind of episode. (laughs) We'll see. Accurate. TBD. But thanks for listening. 
Thanks for joining us on this Dirty 30 episode of what? The Fact. Oh, look at us. See you guys. Back? <laughs> also, I'm so Bye. sorry. Why do-